Uh, hello, uh, Dr. Garrett Lisi. Um, I just wanted to say your theory is uh, very amazing. Um, I looked, I looked at the Lee, the Lee group uh, E8. I looked through a lot of your math. Um, I've been reading a lot up on it, uh, and everything seems very sound and very. I don't see any holes anywhere, and I think it's it's perfect. Um, I don't think it, it is a theory of everything. I think it's more like a table of elements where uh, the table of elements predicted holes and uh, filling those holes really just um, it predicted new elements that would fill those holes and I really think that's what you have here you have um, and you've got much more than that you have uh, a, a tool that will be used by physics students around the world uh, physics uh, professors and researchers and um, um, to do calculations it's a uh, it's a uh, Obviously, the tool itself needs a lot of work. Um, the simulation, there's going to be a lot. I know I, I'm confident that uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, built-in uh, calculations and more controls over the simulation. And the simulation itself will be something that is taught how to use it. I think as a, as a course, um, it's a, it's a, what you've done uh, is definitely Nobel Prize worthy. Um, and I think that's where it's going to end up going. I don't think it, it uh, it's considered a theory of everything because of the fact it doesn't really it's like the table of elements isn't considered a uh, a chemistry uh, complete chemistry theory um, on its own um, it doesn't explain lots of things but it does explain a lot of uh, the basic key properties of all of the elements and how they interact and um, yours explains a lot and um, I'm sure there's a lot of calculations and things that people can do with it. Um, it's also very beautiful, and it's it's really interesting that uh, all of the all of the uh, when we do find a theory of everything that it can be classified and quantified as this great and beautiful geometric shape, and I think that's really the direction uh, we as uh, physicists need to or as a world need to take your idea uh, as a uh, something like the table of elements that predicts new elements new. Uh, and um, I'm very interested to see if uh, um, particle accelerators and hadron colliders can uh, um, witness some of the particles that you can predict and that you've predicted. And I, I just want to say, even even if those holes are not filled, they don't need to be filled. The um, any hole that isn't filled um, might, for some reason or not, be implausible. But it doesn't mean your your model is 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 useless. It's a very useful model um, and I can see that it will have huge implications in the future. So um, thank you very much for your contribution to science and I hope uh, people take it seriously and um, use it in uh, the best way possible. Um, and I definitely think uh, it will be a tool in discovering the theory of everything for sure. Um, but as it stands I don't see it as a theory of everything. I see it as very re revolutionary, though, and there's no reason why um, you or anywhere on one else can't use it to uh, produce that theory. Um, I also don't see it as uh, going against string theory in any way. I know uh, from what I've read and, and seen, you're not a very big advocate of string theory. Um, I, I'm not an advocate either, um, but um, I have an open mind and... I, I'm interested to see where it goes anyways, but I think it doesn't it doesn't go against string theory in any way either uh, Especially if you take it as a classification tool um, And it's very interesting that uh, the world the the classification of uh, particles is such a, a beautiful form So yeah, thank you